Capoeira Flow This is the move of the month variation. As you can see, this is just a progression from the base and the foundation of the move of the month. If you haven't seen the tutorial of the move of the month, please click on the link above. So there is a step-by-step -step explanation from the foundation of the move. This is just a progression. Again, you can do for many ways. You can add your own style into it. I'm gonna just break down uh, this, that this is specific variation, but feel free to add your own style. Now let's break down it step by step. So I'm going to do my cachada normally, cross the leg, rotate, the weight is on my toes. The leg that goes up is the front leg. It's very important I keep always looking forward once you understand the move. At the beginning you might need to focus on the steps, but once you do it, and then you just keep looking forward. So the weight is on my toes always, so I can just step around. So again, Queixada, step the leg at the back, and then rotate. This is the base of the move of the mouth. If you've never seen it before, so I'm gonna put the move, um, the link on the top so you can just check it. So once you switch the leg, bring the top leg through, it's important that I understand where I'm facing. So this, I need to be facing forward. And now I'm gonna carry on rotating from my right to the left as if I'm gonna do a melute compasso. So as you can see, my hips is square onto the front and I need to rotate all the way until I face in the back. Because now when I'm gonna place my hand down, I can see the front and I can see where I'm looking. And I'm gonna go down into my queda de rins on my right arm, normally. And as you can see, I can see the front of the whole time. It's very important that the top leg doesn't cross the bottom leg because that's the leg that's gonna bend. The key movement is bringing that leg into your toes. If you drop into your heels, you're gonna be sitting on the floor and your knee is gonna be pointing up. As you can see, my knee is pointing forward into the negative position. That's very important. Remember to bring into that. So let's look into the kick again. So I'm gonna do the queixada, normal, cross, go into the move of the mouth bring the leg in parallel. See that and now when I get used to, I keep everything low because I know I'm gonna go to the floor. So I rotate by leading with the heel, go down to my right arm, and when I bend, I bend the bottom leg and drop the top leg at the same time into the negative position. And from here, you can add your variation or go back to the jinga. Now I'm gonna show another variation. So once I cross the leg, I'm gonna spin normally, front leg still going up first, change, bring the leg to the parallel position as usual. And when I do the melua na uh, on the queda de hins, I'm gonna go down normally. And this is where it changed. Before I was bending the bottom leg, but now I'm gonna bend the top leg. Literally, I just bend the, the leg. And when I'm gonna finish, I just let my leg drop until I get the balance of my toes. And it's very important that you spin the hand before you close the leg in. So as you can see, the weight is on that arm at the back. So I move my, my arm behind me, lift my hip as I'm going to spin, and from here I can go to the jing or do a u or wherever I want to do it. Let's look from the side so you can see what my hand does. So when I cross the leg normally, again if you don't get this part, look at the move of the mouth step by step tutorial. So as I step normally up to here, go down to my right arm, and this is the different part. So I bend the top leg, and let my leg fall. As my leg is dropping, I'm lifting my head. But that's the key point. I spin my hand before I do any other move. My hand has to spin. Otherwise, you might feel uh, uncomfortable on your wrist there. So when I lock the leg, I lock completely. My hand goes down first. It's very important that that hand goes down first. So I go the support before I spin. And when I spin, my hips are going up at the same time. So I don't have all the weights on the hip. And becomes awkward to move. And here I can do the au can just go into the other position or go back to the jinga however you prefer. I'm just breaking down up to here. Now let's take a look on the move with those top. So carry on crossing the leg normally from the queixada, switch, do the mea luna coluna. Top leg is the one that's gonna bend for this variation, rotate and then au or normal jinga. So again, go through the step very slowly until you understand. Is pointless if you're trying to rush too much, otherwise it's going to be heavy, you're not going to understand. The main key point here is make sure you do that one eight turn, so you are facing the person that you're playing against. Or if you want to do the other variation, 
all you have to do is bend the bottom leg. So you can see the difference between is one, you bend the bottom leg and carry on the move normally. So normal queixada across the leg, everything is normal and the same up to here. And then I bend the bottom leg and carry on. Or you bend the top leg. So we bend, land, spin the hand. That's very important before you can move and carry on. So you can see, so I hope you understand the move, go through the variation step by step, practice. You can see both um, variation, you can see the move of the mouth separately as well on the link above. And then just keep drilling and enjoying. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching and I really hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button below. If you didn't, let me know in the comment how I can improve. Also tell me what type of videos you'd like to see next. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, Please do and I see you on the next one.